What's up YouTube? This is Nimit from Webchronic and today I'll be showing you how you can create a modern and a super professional logo using a free website that's LogoMaker. Well, don't worry as you do not need Photoshop skills to design a logo, yet you can still design a super professional logo for your own business or for your clients or you can even create a gig and start earning on websites like Fiverr. So without further ado, let's dive in and get started. So the step one is to go to our web browser and type in logomaker.com. It's L-O-G-O-M-A-K-R without an E. So this is the nice and a very simple layout of Logomaker. At the top, we have the icons and the logos to pick from. On the left hand side, we have the text to pick from. Then we have the shapes, then the paint bucket and the undo button. On the right hand side, we have the colors to pick from. So next step is to create the icon. And to do that, at the top, we have the browse all logos button. So let's click over here. So now you can see as we have different categories to pick from, for example, the abstract, the shapes, the nature and so on. And also you can see there are tons of logos here that you can pick from. So either we can browse into different options or you can simply type in what exactly we are looking for. Okay, now let's say I wanna design something for a client of mine who is into a music industry. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna type in a record or a cassette maybe. So let me just type in record and hit enter. So we have tons of options to pick from, but I think I'm liking the first one here. So I'm gonna pick this one. So let's click on it. So now we have the icon in the project canvas area. So either we can select this and increase the size like that, or we can just drop it down or we can just move it around. So what I'm gonna do now is, I'm gonna copy this logo, Control plus C, and I'm gonna paste it on the canvas, Control plus V. So now we have two same icons on the project, and we're gonna play around with it. So now let's go ahead and select this little arrow over here, and tilt our icon, just like that. All right, this looks good. Then I can just position it. So what we're gonna do now is, we're gonna right click on it and select send backwards. So that image has moved towards the backside. All right, just move it around, just play with it. All right, looks good. So now we are done with the graphic part and now let's move on to our next step and add the text to our logo. So as you can see, a little T on the left side, which is for adding text. So let's go ahead and click on it. Now let's go ahead and type in our brand's name, resize it and reposition it. Now let's say that our brand name is FHK Music Store. Now let's position it. Let's pick it up from here and drop it over here. As you can see this arrow, it means that your text is in the center. And when it reaches the center, it snaps like a magnetic effect. It's like that. And now let's just go ahead and resize it. On the right hand side top, as you can see this little arrow, just select that and resize it. And then we can select this right hand side point and decrease the size like that. pick it up and drop it over here. All right, so the next thing we can do over here is we can change the font. Let's select this. And at the top, as you can see, these are some different font categories. For example, the 3D effect, let's click on it. As you can see over here, it has a 3D effect now, or else we can select something like fancy. All right, so that's the category and these are some fancy options that you can pick from. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select this one, simple and modern design. And then from the font family, I'm gonna pick, I think I'm gonna pick this one, Poppins. So you can pick any font design that you like. I personally like the Poppins design, so I've picked up this one. It's a simple and a pretty clean design for me. 
So we are done with picking up the font as well. So now let's move on to our next step, which is to add the colors. All right, so our next step is to add the colors. As you can see this little wheel on the right hand side, you can just move it around and select the color from here. And once you pick the color, let's say we pick this one, we can select the saturation of the color from here. By just moving the mouse, we can select the lighter or the darker shade of that particular color. Or else if you already have a color code in your mind, you can simply go ahead and type in the color code over here. But what I'm gonna do over here is, I'm gonna pick the color of this font from this particular icon. So let me just click on this dark shade and this color wheel will tell me the code of it. For example, let's say I click here. So this is the color code of this shade. So let's select this one and select this and paste this over here. All right, so that's exactly the same color as this one. All right, so there are a couple of things that I wanna do with this font. Let me first select this and increase the size. And the other thing what I wanna do is, I want to give this first initials FHK this color and rest of the brand name is fine. So what I need to do is, I need to copy this, Control C and paste it, Control V and then select this and delete this one. And then I can select this and delete this. Right, and then I can click over here and pick this color, copy this, select this and paste it over here. And then I can drop the size. And then I can pick it up Drop the size again. All right, looks good. Then I can select both of them and I can simply drag them and drop them over here. Select both, increase the size. All right, so we are almost done with our logo design and our logo looks pretty clean and stunning. But now it's time for our bonus step which is my favorite part, especially when it comes to designing a logo. So in this bonus step, we are gonna play around with our logo and we are going to make it look a little more unique and extraordinary. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna pick the complete text and drop it over here. And I want to increase the size as well. All right, like that. And now I'm going to pick the first part, this one. And now I wanna show you some more possibilities when you're designing a logo on Logo Maker. So I'm gonna copy this first part, Control C, and I'm gonna paste it, Control V. Right, and I'm gonna paste it again, Control V. So now we have the first part of the text into three times. All right, so the first letter of our logo is F. Let's pick it up and give it a little bit of mirror effect. So I'm gonna select this and I'm gonna delete this. And now we have the letter F and I'm gonna select this, drop it over here. And as you can see this little arrow on the right hand side, let's select this and move it on the right. And now let's select this and move it towards the left. So now you can see that this F has a mirror effect and it looks reversed. So that's our first letter now. Now let's keep the second letter H as it is. So we're gonna pick this one and drop it here. Delete this and delete this. So that's our second letter. All right, so now let's change the third letter K to a shape that is triangle. Let me show you how. Let's click over here on the shapes and click on triangle. All right, so now we have this triangle on our canvas. Let's decrease the size. And drop it over here. And the other thing I wanna do is, I want to change the angle of it. So as you can see this arrow at the top, Let's move it around. All 
and I want to change it to 270 degrees. All right, pick this color, copy this and change the color. And then I can pick this up and I can delete this. I can pick it up and drop it over here. I can select this, all of them, and I can increase the size. Select it again and drop the size. All right, so we are done with our logo. Now let's move on to our next step, which is to download the logo. To download the logo, you'll see a small floppy at the top. It says save logo. So let's go ahead and click on it. All right, so now it says that you have to pay 19 bucks to download this logo in high resolution. Don't worry, we are not paying anything. Let's skip this and select this. No thanks, download low resolution file. So let's click over here. All right, so now we have this logo sitting on our computer. So let's have a look. All right, so that's our file in the PNG format with a transparent background. So you can simply use it on your website or anywhere you want as only the text and the icon are gonna show up. And lastly, if you ever wanna edit your logo, in that case, what you need to do is, let's go back to Logo Maker. You can just copy this URL as you click over here, it will be copied. So whenever you want to edit this logo, you can simply copy and paste this URL and start from where you left off. All right, so we are done with it and I hope you like this tutorial. And now you absolutely know how to design some really stunning logos. So let's stay connected on Instagram. That's my ID. Subscribe the channel for more upcoming videos. Thank you guys. See you in the next one. Bye-bye. Thank you.